It's not a black bear, but we got a giant bull. I bet that's a four. No way. Oh. It's happening. You know what's interesting to me is that we've actually never really done any black bear hunting. We've seen black bear along the way, but we've never actually done specific black bear hunts. Well, today, we're gonna try and find some. I thought for sure there'd be a black bear out here, but it appears we have some white tail, and there's a one star mature right out there at about 300 that I really wanna get. However, it is right behind that doe, or is he in front of that doe? Hmm, you know what? How cool would it be if we actually went through that buck and hit the doe? We got a one star adult there. We're gonna let him get a little bigger. And there's a one star mature right here as well. Now this buck here is tiny. You can tell he's really young. Well, he's not young. He looks young, but he's actually pretty old. That means he doesn't have very good genes. So we're probably gonna take him down first at about 300. Well, that's one way to take them down, I suppose. Um, oh, there was a bear, dude. I knew there was going to be a bear here. There he goes, right there, right there, right there. Load up, load up, load up. Um, I kind of really want to know what it is before we just take a shot at it. Come on. Well, we're not going to know, and it doesn't really matter too much anyways. What matters is if we get a shot off 460 yards. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Okay. Let's not rush this shot. It's been a long time now, and we finally got eyes on our first black bear. Let's at least find out what it is before we take the shot. If it doesn't come this way, then we're going to have to take the shot, of course. Oh, it's not coming this way. 400 yards, 440. Here we go. 440 on the walk. Wait. Maybe he is coming this way. Maybe he is. You know, I really wish that if you had your hunter sense on, you could spot the animal as well. That would be such a great idea if they did that. So you can tell he's 400 yards out right there. And we actually might go for this shot. I don't think he wants to come too much closer. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take the shot. Dude, that thing is absolutely smoked. That shot was money. I probably should have shot again because sometimes these bear are tough. But that shot looks so good as far as double lung. But I can't tell from the blood from here. I really should have shot twice, but honestly, that shot looks so perfect. Right behind the front shoulder. Obviously, if we hit the front shoulder, it'd be even better. But that shot should have done the trick. It really should have. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why we didn't zero in for 415. And it's not that we didn't zero in. I know that we didn't zero in. We did that on purpose. But here's what I do. So we're zeroed in for 100. And I know the second bar down is 400. So if it's a little bit less than that, then I just hold you know, uh, a tad bit lower to compensate for that. And in that case there, we basically held the second bar right on, and so that should be 400. That's, that's why we did that. All right, so our bear was standing somewhere around here, and I think it was like right here. Boy, I can't tell. Oh, how? There's no way that shot wasn't perfect. It's red. I mean, if we hit intestine, yeah, that's one thing. I'll definitely take that. 
but... Oh, I forgot. We got our buck over here, too. Okay, we're going to mark the spot. Either we hit him, like, high in the shoulder... Or too back, too far back for lung. But then we should have gotten liver. So take a look at this shot here. First shot was actually double lung spine. Now, honestly, that would have probably dropped him on the spot. 280. Second shot. Got him in the spine again and hit the main artery on that shot. Then we shot him again and got him in the neck. Wow. So we did pretty good. But 28% on a mature one-star whitetail is absolutely horrendous so i'm glad to have him out of this herd and i also want to find this zone oh there's the white tail right there so there's a two-star mature white tail in this herd as well and i kind of want to take him down but at the same time I don't really want to lose uh, sight on that bear. So he called down here. <sighs> right there. He is less than 140 yards out. The wind is not good. If we work our way down here. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see it or not. There he is. Oh my God, dude. It's a nice one too. It's a three-star mature. He's coming right at us. He's coming right at us right there. Okay, he just cut in. I lost him. There he is. I see him. He's 100 yards out right there. He's turning, quartering away. Quartered way too much for a shot. He knows we're here. We don't have a lot of time. <sighs> oh, I couldn't quite take the shot, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh. He was quartering way too much, and bear have a lot of... Um, I don't even know what you would call it. Dude, where is he? <sighs> there he is. He's quartering too much. That's our shot. Uh. Oh, did we shoot him again? Did I mess up that shot? How the heck was that not a lung hit? No way. I was a little bit high, but just barely a little bit. Come on, go down. He's down. Holy. I mean, yeah, I know we're high, but we're also shooting downwards. So the bullet should have came out lower than where it entered. Oh my God. I can't believe he went down. Oh, okay. Now, we're going to find out where we actually hit on that first shot. Honestly, I cannot wait to figure this out. There we go. That's an incredible picture right there. I don't know why there's a shadow on him. Oh, because he's facing the wrong direction. I see. Well, we're going to go with that. And now we're going to pick him up. There he is. What in the actual heck just happened? I told you guys that shot was money. We freaking almost heart shot him at 410 yards. Look at that shot. Double lugged him with a 300 win mag. And he didn't go down. 
I don't care what anybody says. That is a perfect shot. I mean, we literally nicked the heart with the cavity damage. On the walk at 400 yards. Dude, we got robbed so hard with that shot. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. All right. Well, let's see where we hit the second time. Oh, I knew I was a little bit high. But still did end up getting another double lung shot, it looks like. Mm, nope, single lung, but shoulder. The fact that we came out the opposite shoulder, though, that should have helped bring him down quite a bit quicker. That was 106 yards, and I held a little bit too high. Ideally, I would like to have been right here, but obviously it didn't make much difference. Let's find out what he was. Three star, 73% on the jeans. So yeah, I probably wouldn't have got too much bigger than that. But there we go. Our first black bear down of the hunt. And honestly, that was a pretty tough one because it should have been laying there. It should have ran like maybe 100 yards and then fell over. Instead, we had to track him for four or 500 yards and then sneak up on him again and end up taking him down <laughs> from the top of that ridge right there. But you know what? We did get him. It's not a black bear, but we got a giant bull. I bet that's a four. No way. Oh, it's happening. Unbelievable. We finally got ourselves a giant five star bull moose and he's right in front of us. And then there's another one as well, which I believe might be a two star. But wow, what an incredible bull. Look at the palmades on that massive bull moose. I am so pumped right now. We've been wanting one of these for ever since I can't even remember when the last time was. When we tried to take down the five star bull and well, he disappeared. Yeah, we haven't seen him since. This is obviously a completely different bull because that was like a week and a half ago. And there's no way that five star bull would still be around right now. So that means we got ourselves a completely different giant bull right in front of us here he's about 240 yards out there he is right there guys i'm just absolutely speechless at this point what a magnificent animal what an absolute beast of a bull i mean honestly that three-star bull is quite impressive as well when i first saw him i thought "Ooh, that's a good bull but then I saw this paddle sticking up here and I thought, holy, that thing is giant compared to this one. And I was thinking it's probably a four just because my luck and well, he's definitely not a four. Okay, so as we're sitting here waiting, the wind is slowly starting to shift a little bit more to the right, which is what we want. I wouldn't mind trying to get to that rock right there so we could lay prone and make an incredible shot. But you know what? We're gonna take our time. We're hidden. We got a decent wind right now. We got uh, a lot of things going for us. We really do. So we're gonna be patient and wait for everything to line up perfectly for a shot. Oh, he's trotting. He's trotting. He's trying to get downwind of us, guys. Holy, there he is. Oh my God, this is gonna be our chance right here. If he stops, we're going for the shot. So that bull slowed down. The cow is still moving. And so is, of course, our giant bull. 
All right, she's gonna stop right there, and so is he. Oh my god, please stop right there. Wow. He's so close to stopping, but not quite. And that not quite is making a big difference for us to get this shot off. He's absolutely hammered. We just made one of the best shots ever on a giant five-star bull. He is down, guys. He is down. Oh, my God. Let's go get him. That is why you wait for a perfect opportunity to take the shot. Because we absolutely smoked that bull. He didn't go 10 yards and piled up. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. All right, pretty sure I can cross right here. Okay, good. And I just realized that we never even marked him. But, I mean... <laughs> we know basically right exactly where he should be. He was walking through here. And we got a giant, probably 1,200, 1,400 pound bull moose down. Yeah, I figured it probably won't be too difficult to find him, you know? <laughs> but there he is laying right here. Look at the size of that palmade on that bull. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's line up for a cool picture with this guy. And also, that's the new Remington 700 300 win mag. So, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Wow. All right. I think that'll do for pictures, guys. That will do. Now, let's pick him up. There we have it. A perfect double long heart shot at 235 yards. What an awesome shot. Just clipped the top of the heart there and smoked him with the Remington 700 300 win mag. Woo! And let's find out how he did. He is, in fact, a giant five star with a 98% on the G pool. Are you kidding me? 98%. He weighed 1,390 pounds. Holy, that is by far our coolest five-star ever in Way of the Hunter. And what a heck of a way to have it happen. Let's take a look at the trophy rating. He's gonna score 492! 492.1! They really don't get much bigger than that. Holy, what a giant bull. Our biggest five star of all time right there, guys. Our biggest five star. Look at that incredible bull. Wow. We waited for the exact perfect moment. He stopped for a couple seconds. And we hugged right tight to that lower front shoulder. And sunk it in there. Absolutely money. Wow. I am so blown away. I am so blown away at right that. I am so blown away at this point right now. I am so blown away at this moment right here. I am so absolutely blown away. Let's get him mounted. Oh my God. That just happened. That just happened right there. We're out here looking for Black Bear. And we find a giant five star 
Couldn't get much bigger. Bull Moose. And we basically dropped him. All right, guys, here we are back at our trophy lodge. And this thing is going to cost 7,000 cash to get mounted. But it's going to be our giant five-star bull. And we just got him mounted right there, guys. Here we go. Let's have a look at the... Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, I can't go this way. Oh, there we go. Look at that bull. Man, that looks so good. Wow. There he is. Boy, does he look incredible. Look at the size of that thing. I just can't get over how wide and I guess tall his palmades are. They're literally like the size of half of his body. And he weighs almost 1300 pounds. Ho ho! He is one incredible bull. That's all I know. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.